Hey guys, is it a little deja vu? You're like, haven't I seen you with this car? Yes, you have, because we've already talked about a whole bunch of things that I really like about this car, but guess what? There's even more. So come on, let's learn. All right, not to be superficial, but one of the most important things about a car, obviously, is how it looks. And look at the RDX. This is a beautifully sculpted car from the front to the back. Obviously the diamond pentagon grille, the new jewel eye LEDs, but something I really love, this is called a character line. I don't know, I don't have a character line. I guess I don't have character, but I'm gonna have my camera guy get really close down here. As it comes all the way back here, it hits these. Come over here, I wanna show you something. People don't really give taillights enough credit. Look at how beautiful this is. Somebody designed this. That's the dragon tail taillight. It even sounds cool. Well, as you can see, there's obviously a lot to love about this RDX, but there's even more to tell you about. So make sure you check in next time. I gotta get out of here. They're coming back for lunch. Hey, there you are. What's up guys, Bradley Hazemeyer here, right back at you with the RDX. Now I've shown you some things that are pretty interesting, but for the most part, today is gonna be the big one. Super excited to show you this. Let's go. Oh, hello there, and welcome to the Precision Crafted Cockpit. I absolutely love the design on this RDX. See how it's clean and it's uncluttered? You've got beautiful stitching, you have perforated leather on the seats, tons of storage. Now, as a driver, I, of course, am spending a lot of time in here, but also I want the vehicle to surround me. These seats with the side bolsters, which are adjustable, yes, this seat with a brand new frame has a 16-way options. How far back, how far up, lumbar side, all of that for both the driver and the passenger. Thank you. Everyone's happy in the car. The steering wheel itself is well laid out. It's got a good size to it. Tons of control buttons here. They took the shifter, you know, that would normally be right here. They got rid of it and integrated it right into the center console, right here with the IDS, Sport Plus mode, Comfort mode, whatever you want. All of this frees up all this space. So the car feels very light. I also love that wherever you see wood is actual wood. Plenty of cars do not do that. If you have wood in your car, touch it. Most likely, it's not wood. Wherever there's metal, there's metal. Of course, you have Apple CarPlay. It integrates right into the system. If you're gonna be spending a lot of time in a car, it should look good, feel good, and be good. And the RDX nails it. Hey everybody, Bradley Hasemeyer here. Welcome back. I'm still here, but you've come back. You know, last time I saw you, I showed you some things that I really like about the RDX. I'm gonna show you some more. Now let's be honest, when someone says, hey, why'd you buy your car? Has anyone ever said I bought it because the center console? Well, you might now actually, because not only is this beautiful, but they've created a lot of space with some ingenuity. All right, so you open this up, great. That's a decent amount of storage. Okay, throw some stuff in there. You pull this back, you have cup holders. You have your plug for CarPlay. Plenty of room in here for four or five phones or whatever else that would fit that size. Let's say you have something like a tablet or a purse or a bag. You want to kind of put it out of sight. It slides right in here. You've got a USB charge port. You've got an aux back here. Everything. It's just so smart. This is maybe the smartest console in the history of consoles. And I dig it. What's up everybody, Bradley Hasemeyer here. It's been a crazy day of testing the RDX against the competitors. We're out on a track. I gotta say a little spoiler alert, things are going really well. Now, as far as the RDX is concerned, I've been giving you some tips and tricks and things I like, but today we're talking about something that's a real game changer. Oh, hello, namaste and welcome to the cabin where you're gonna find 16-way adjustable seats, perforated leather, oh, and Acura completely redesigned the frame for this seat. Why does that matter? Because you want a comfortable chair. You're sitting in traffic, you're going on road trips, you're taking corners sharply. Have you ever sat in traffic and done this thing, and then you move over here, you get just like scooting all around? I've been in this chair for a long time, and it's still very comfortable. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Acura. Back to it. Oh, I zinned to the back seat. You gotta love the legroom back here. Look at this. And I have kids. These are the kind of things that you notice when you're a parent. Plastic, 
Why does that matter? Because when your kids are kicking the seat, it's much easier to clean. Isn't that great? Also, there's air conditioning back here. You can also charge up two devices with these USB ports and come on, give it a break. Heated seats. <sighs> kids these days, they have it so much better than we did, huh? Back to it. What's up everybody, Bradley Hasemeyer here, back with you again, the RDX against the competitors. We're out here testing them. I gotta say, things are going pretty well for the RDX. Now everybody's gone, so this is a great chance for me to give you a behind the scenes look at some of the features I really love about this car. Let's check them out. There's some pretty sweet innovation on this tailgate too. You push the button, it opens up. Okay, other competitors have this, but Oh, this is too tall, what am I gonna do? I can't reach it. Or there's a parking garage and you're gonna scrape it. Just pull it down to where you want it. Hold the button. There we go. And now it's programmed. You can impress your friends, relatives, loved ones, even the people you don't care deeply about because you can program with your finger. Pretty cool. What's up everybody, Bradley Hasemeyer here. We're in the middle of the desert. I can't even tell you where we are. They blindfolded me and dropped me off. Not really, but that sounds cooler, doesn't it? They're testing the RDX against a bunch of competitors and everybody's gone, so I figured I'd bring you in, show you some of the stuff that I really like about this brand new RDX. Couldn't we all use a little bit of easier in our life? Yes, plug for Apple CarPlay right back in here. Of course, use the TTI, the True Touchpad interface, to swipe through the screens. Gives you all the apps that you would normally have if you were driving. And you can get a text message. Nora said, are you on your way? Want to reply? Yes. What do you want to say? Yes, I'm on my way. Your reply to Nora says, yes, I'm on my way. Ready to send it? Yes. Done. With CarPlay integrated into the RDX, your life gets even easier. And I like it. Hey, welcome back. Well, welcome back to myself as well. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Now, of course, behind me, the brand new RDX. And I've told you about some things that I like about the outside and the inside. But today, we get to what really matters. Come on, let's check it out. You know, when it comes to a car, most people don't think about the steering wheel, but that's very important. Your hands are on this thing the whole time, and the RDX has really knocked it out of the park with this one. Here's why. First off, the way it feels. It's a leather-wrapped steering wheel. It's got these sport nubs here, so if you're at like nine and three or 10 and two, either way, it's helping support you. I love how comfortable this steering wheel is. I could be driving for days. For days, I tell you. I, of course, would need some food. Uh, the paddle shifters, I love. Not too big. Some cars have them and they're just like giant, unobtrusive. Good feel to those. Good position too, right for my hands. I also like the kind of the trip computer that's up here. You can go through all the uh, things that you need to access on the car to learn information, to figure out what's going on with the vehicle. And of course you have your volume up here. Oh, and heated steering wheel. Hello. For everybody who ever has to get in the car and it's cold, that's a winner. So the design of the steering wheel, the feel of it, the command center, all of that, that's what makes this a winner. What's up everybody? It's Bradley Hasemeyer, it's an RDX, and it's you. Welcome back, this is like family at this point. And we've been talking a lot about some of the things I really like about the RDX, but today I'm gonna show you something that's gonna blow your mind. Now another place the RDX is beating the competitors is in storage. You've got this hands-free powered tailgate, which is great. You just kick all your stuff, eh, your hands are full, no problem. You don't have to set it on the ground. Once you get inside, tons of space. These seats flip down and maybe you have something you're gonna run into a coffee shop or something, you have a purse you don't wanna bring, put it right in here. It stays hidden, but wait, there's more. Yes, a whole second cubby. Look at this, this is great. And then it gets folded up like this and any would-be baddies walk by and they think, oh, they look in the window, nothing there. Wrong, bad man, very, very wrong.
What's up everybody, Bradley Hasemeyer here. Now today we're testing the RDX against a bunch of competitors. And I gotta say, the RDX is doing well. But while everybody is away, right now I thought I'd sneak in here, give you a little kind of backstage pass, give you some tips and tricks, things that I really like about the RDX. Hey guys, let me introduce you to something I really love about this RDX, the True Touchpad Interface, also known as TTI. It's two pieces, it's a screen and a touchpad. Now it's got a one-to-one -one mapping, so if I hit the top left on the touchpad, it corresponds to the top left of the screen. Now I love that it actually offers you two screens, primary and a secondary. Let's say you've got your nav going, I'm driving along, and I realize I wanna hear some different tunes. That's kinda of small, it's a little bit small there, I'll admit. So I wanna flip it, bring it over full size. I don't need my maps as much. I can pick my radio station. Oh, now I'm going off-road. I would like to swap it back again, just like that. It's intuitive, it's easy to use, and it makes a lot of sense. When you get in a car and you have to fiddle with the nav system and the radio and, and, and pairing the phone with the Bluetooth, all this, it just, it can be really annoying and really frustrating. So I like that Acura has said, you know what? We're not gonna improve a system. We're gonna completely start from scratch and this is where they landed. I love that. 